Richard, clearly this is a new threat for American business, for the New York Times and others. Who is the Syrian Electronic Army? It's a good question. We know they're affiliated uh, with the Assad government, but we don't know exactly their relationship. They use a, a Syrian domain name that the Syrian government allows them to use. Uh, and they're clearly supporting the regime, and they do it by hijacking a legitimate news outlets to distribute misinformation, distributed denial of service attacks, and defacement of websites. Uh, this latest attack is actually an escalation because instead of uh, going after the news organization itself, they went after the domain name service provider, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, this company Melbourne IT, uh, which was hacked directly. Uh, and that, that is why the, all these websites were disabled. Richard, what's the likelihood that the Syrian Electronic Army stops here? I mean, who else do they attack, aside from the, journalists? The, the likelihood is zero. They will keep going. Um, there's nothing to stop them. They have a sanctuary. They're presumably in Syria or in places uh, where they can't be uh, targeted by law enforcement. And they're supporting the uh, you know, by, by basically causing nuisance, and, uh, nuisance <laughs> in the Internet and distributing information, uh, disinformation.